now that we understand this and that we have an idea of how we have to coordinate and how we have to think about this shifting, let's do a workout um, that will um, help us to um, step by step to shift this from a thought and brain controlled motion to an unconscious and spontaneous motion uh, just by keep doing it and educating your muscles to be sponta do spontaneously this kind of shifting. Okay, so the first part of the workout, we can start using heavier sticks. These are aluminum sticks, they're very heavy. The purpose of this is not to um, gain power and uh, develop my muscles, is to stay always, stay synchronized with the rebound. Because if the sticks are very heavy, I will feel immediately if I'm lifting them or if I'm following the rebound. If I follow the rebound, I will never feel the weight of the stick because the rebound will push the stick back up for me. Instead, if I will feel the weight of the stick, it means that um, I'm not synchronized with the rebound anymore and that's a mistake and I never want to feel the weight of the stick. So um, I have to pay attention during the shifting between the arm and the molar motion that I never feel the weight of the stick and I never lose the synchronization. And this kind of sticks or any heavy stick will help us in uh, understanding um, if we are actually always synchronized in every part of the shifting or we are doing some mistakes. So the first part of the workout we will start playing one bar of quarter notes, one bar of eight notes shifting from arm motion playing quarter notes and molar motion playing um, eight notes and uh, we will do it without a click so that we are free to just work on the feeling, work on feeling comfortable and being comfortable in doing this without the restriction of having to follow a metronome um, and we can dedicate one minute for each limb just one bar eight no uh, quarter notes, one bar eight notes. So the first part of the workout will be We can speed it up, slow it down, using more arm motion and or speeding it up, making it more a wrist motion. Of course, the more we will speed this up, the more we will uh, work on our wrist and we'll uh, stop using the, the arm. And same thing with our left hand. And so on. So um, let's do 60 seconds per uh, hand, and then we can do unison and alternated hands in this way. Alternated. Okay, so in this part, I just want to focus on being comfortable uh, without having to think about uh, a, um, a metronome, a click, but just feeling that everything is working, I'm synchronized with the rebound at every time, and then I can repeat this with my regular wood uh, drumsticks that I use to, to play. So we'll go through uh, the same routine, it's always 60 seconds per hand, and then 60 second units and 60 second alternated in this way.
So I speed it up, I slow it back down, I just try different speeds, different dynamics so that I just get the more comfortable possible with this. Then I'll do the same thing with the left end. Then unison. And it's good to um, practice the unison section because the right hand and left hand teach to each other different things. Uh, the right hand might have more control and so it teaches a little bit the control to the left hand because in this moment uh, what happens is that our brain is working uh, at the same time on the same motion uh, in two different parts of our body. So there will be a guide, like a, the stronger limb will become a guide for the weak limb and you will feel this when you um, when you will practice this, you will feel the difference between playing unison and playing only your weak limb how the, the, the playing unison becomes like the guide for the weak limb, like the, the strong limb becomes a guide for the weak limb so, um, and then you can do alternating The more we will do this, the more we will have to try to pay attention to the distances between the notes, having always the tip of the stick at the center of the sur surface that we're playing on, so that we have the same sound and um, a constant sound and not any weird shuffle um, feel or, or any uh, unwanted feeling and the same sound so that we don't play in different uh, spots of the, the surface, unless of course it's not something that we want to do.